Well, the Holy Father also addressed priests from Latin America, saying their work makes them Christ's disciples and missionaries. The Holy Father met this week with students and staff of the Pontifical Latin American College in Rome. The Pope urged everyone to remember the importance of their pastoral service to the people of God and avoid any type of clericalism. Joining us now from Rome is Father Alnardo Ortiz Dominici, diocesan priest from Puerto Rico. Father, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. Can you tell us more about the Holy Father's message and what stood out the most to you? First of all, Tracy, thank you for this invitation. It's, uh, I am very glad to be here. Uh, this audience was amazing. It's a really a blessing for us. Uh, Pope Francis encouraged us to be a disciple of Jesus, to stay with him. Also, he urged us to be with the people of God, to share uh, life and the sufferings the way of the people. Uh, I mean, a big pastor, good pastor like Jesus. And also, uh, Pope Francis uh, said that we uh, should uh, appreciate and take advantage of the experience here in Rome. And Father, for those who aren't familiar, uh, would you mind telling us a, a little bit more about the Latin American College and how many students are there? And also, what nations are represented? Yeah, uh, of course. Um, this college uh, was founded in 1858 uh, due to a priest from Chile. Uh, he was concerned um, regarding the, the priestly formation, and he presented his concern to the Pope uh, Pius, Pius the Nine, and he, uh, um, uh, the Pope, re approved and and promoted this uh, this project. I mean, the opening of a house in Rome, uh, a college and a seminary. Uh, nowadays, there are just priests, and we are. 52 priests from 15 countries, and there are four Jesuits who are uh, who run the, uh, this college. Uh, Father, before I let you go, um, can you give us a sense of how the Catholic Church is doing in Puerto Rico? I think that in Puerto Rico, the church uh, have a lot of challenges, but. Uh, especially the lay people are working a lot, and we pastor uh, are working with them. And I I hope that uh, God will provide us more vocations uh, and more things in our country. Well, Father Arnaldo, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, and a big hug for you and for my family, my friends, and especially to the young, young men, uh, an invitation to open their heart to Jesus Christ, that he will not disappoint you. <laughs>